Hello, good evening. I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for your support. Kindly welcome to our class. Today we are looking at maths form two. Lesson number one. A topic known as vectors one, a subtopic is application on vectors. The question that I've written here is a question that one of my viewers asked me by the name Gladys. I want to thank her so much uh, for asking this question. This means that you really uh, trust our channel. The question uh, is saying that the figure below is a right pyramid with a rectangular base, A, B, C, D, and the V, O as the height. As you can be able to see, we have our figure there, uh, A, B, C, D. That we call it a base, and it is named A, B, C, D. At the center, we have O. So when you come from O to V, so that gives you the height of the pyramid. So we have the height, you can be able to see, O, V, the base is A, B, C, D. Uh, we have given vector A, B. Vector A, B is vector B. Vector A, D is vector A. Vector D, V. D to V is vector C. I know. Many of us may, 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 may start saying, since this is a right pyramid, and the slant heights v, uh, VC, VB, VA, and VD are supposed to be the same, then DV being vector A, CV will be vector C. Being DV is vector C, AV will be vector C, BV will be vector C. No, it cannot be that way because under vectors, direction is very important. So the direction from D to V is not the same direction when you are coming from B to V. So that's why we cannot say that vector A, V, B, V, C, V, and D, V is vector C. It can't be like that because we are dealing with vectors. If that's the case, so we must now go to our questions. Question A is asking, express vector A, B in terms of A and C. In terms of vector A and vector C. Where is A, B? That's what we need to identify. A, B. That's our A, B in that particular direction. A, B. A, B. It's a straight line. Since we are dealing with vectors, in the vectors, we must talk about the magnitude, which, which sometimes is called the size and the direction itself. That's why I've just used an arrow to show the direction we are, we are uh, moving on. When I'm putting this arrow, it means we are coming from A going to V. But A, V, D forms a triangle. A, V, D is a triangle. Now, if we want to get A, V, then we can use another root by saying it is A, D, A, D, then from D you go up to V. So it means when you are at A, you want to reach C, you can use another root that's from A to D. You can move from A all the way to D. Then from D, you go up to V. So that's how we can arrive at V if we are coming from A. But do we have vector A, D? Yes. Vector A, D is vector A. So that's what you, 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 you put there. Do we have vector D, D, V? We have dv, yes. dv is vector c. So we will say vector c. So that's, now it means we have answered the Roman A here. Because the question wanted us to express A, B in terms of vector A and vector C. And actually, that's now, that becomes our answer. And I've 
tried to show you how we can arrive at vector A plus vector C. A, V, D is that triangle. If you are coming from A to V, you can use another root of A, D, D, V. Since vector A, D is given and vector D, V is given, instead of us writing A, D, we can use the vector. Instead of us writing D, V, we can use the vector. So A, Roman 1 is answered. A, Roman 2. Express B, V in terms of vector A, vector B, and vector C. So, from our diagram, where is P, V? B, V, in that particular direction. How do we get B, V? The easiest route that we can use, if we want to come from B, you go to V, you can you can decide to move from B all the way to D. Then from D, you go up to V. So that means B, V is the same as B, D, and D, C. I mean D, V. But vector D, V is already known as C. It's already given. So what we need to determine is vector B, D. I want you to, to look carefully at this particular figure. For, for us to be able to obtain vector B, D, or for, for you to be able to move from B to D, you can decide to move from B back to A, then from A to D. Finally, we will arrive at D. B back to A, from A to D. The reason why I'm not moving to, to C, it is because we are not given the vector B, C. We are not given vector B, D. So I want us to, to use the roots whose vectors are given. So I know if someone wants to move from B to D, there are many ways. You can, go, you, you can use B, V, B, D, B, C, C, D, B, A, A, D. But for me, I want to use B, A, then A, D. So that means B, D is going to be B, A, vector, plus vector A, D. Now, do we have vector B, A? Yes, it is vector B. Since we are going against the direction, then this vector B becomes a minus B, A, D. We are going as per the direction, it remains positive. So we have now obtained B, D as vector A minus vector B. You can interchange. This is the same as saying vector A, plus, I mean minus, minus vector B. So that's now our vector B, D. And our question wants us to find B, V. So our B, V becomes P, D, which we have here now, A minus B. Then B, I mean D, V is given as C. So you just put it there. Vector D, V is C vector. Because we, we, we already have it in our diagram. So that means we have expressed B, V in terms of vector A, in terms of vector B, in terms of vector C, as shown in our whiteboard. Now let's move to the last question. They are saying that M is the point on O, V. You can be able to see where M is. The line, along the line O, V, there is a point M, such that O, M, O to M, then from M to V is in the ratio 3 to 4. So that means, that means O M is represented by 3. M V is going to be represented by 4. So this will be 4 here, the other one will be 3. Express B M in terms of vector A, vector B, and vector C. So where is B M? B, M, in that particular direction, from B all the way to M. So they want us to express that one in terms of vector A, vector B, and vector C. Remember O is the center, or O is the midpoint of A, C, and at the same time, O is the midpoint of D, D. So that means vector B, O. 
is the same as vector OD. Or vector AO is the same as vector OC. That's what it means. Because O is the center, is the midpoint of the two diagonals. Therefore, for us to be able to get BM vector, it means we must move from B to O, then from O to M. So this means we must obtain BO, and at the same time we must obtain OM. I may wish to start by obtaining a vector O, O, V. We have to obtain O, V first. O, V. So if we want to get O, V, it means we can move from O to D, then from D to V. And we, we don't have O, D. And remember I've said vector B, O is the same as vector O, D. So how do we get vector O, D? Since O is the midpoint, it means B O can be represented by 1, O D can be represented by 1. That ratio should be 1 to 1. That's what it means. Now, do we need to find vector B D? Yes. But B D, we obtained it at some point here. So the, the vector B D is vector A minus vector B. And we need OD. We need OD. So we will come and say OD is the same as a half in terms of the ratio. Because 1 to 1 it means BO will be represented by a half. How do we obtain a half? It is this 1 over the total ratio. 1 over 1 plus 1. So that, that will give you a half. So OD will be a half BD. And the BD we have it as vector A minus vector B, minus vector B. So when you reopen the brackets, you get a half vector A plus minus, minus a half vector B. So that's when we reopen the brackets. So uh, allow me come back here because of space. We have, we have obtained OD, and our aim is to obtain OV. So it means OV will be, you are at O, you want to go to V. You can use OD, D, V. So it will be OD plus DV. OD is given as a half vector A minus a half vector B. DV is vector C. It is already given. So this gives us OV. But remember, we need to find OM. We need OM. We need OM. So that's what we want to achieve. For BO, I said BO is the same as OD. So if we obtained OD, then it means vector OD should be the same as vector BO. So when we are going to ask ourselves, Vector B O will be equivalent to, we already have the, the answer there. So what we need is O M. Now, O M, in terms when we are using the ratio theorem given, then it means O M will be, O M is represented by 3, ratio 3. Then total ratio is 3 plus 4, which is 7. Therefore, O M will be 3 over the total ratio of O V. But in this case, we know OV. So we will say this 3 over 7 into a half vector A minus a half vector B, then plus C. Three over seven times a half, it will be three times one, three, seven times two, fourteen vector A. Three times one is three. 7 times 2 is 14. That's vector B. Then 3 over 7 times C, it becomes 3 over 7 vector, vector C. So that's our OM. But our question wanted us to find or to express 
BM in terms of vector A, vector B, vector C. So do we have BO? Yes. I said vector BO is the same as vector OD. And OD is given here. So we will now uh, take that one as a half vector A plus, not plus, minus a half vector B, then plus OM, which we have obtained here, which is 3 over 14 vector A minus 3 over 14 vector B, then plus 3 over 7 vector C. So I'm removing this because of space. So we can put like terms together. PM becomes a half vector A. We add 3 over 14 vector A, then minus a half vector B, minus 3 over 4 vector B, then plus 3 over 7 vector C. So we can add this one and even add that one because those are the uh, same terms. LCM will be 14, here LCM will be 14, 2 goes to 14, 7, that's 7A plus, this comes here once, that's the 3 vector A. Here we are going to have 2 goes to 7, I mean 2 goes to 14, 7, that's minus 7B, 14 goes to 14, 1, 1 times 3, that's 3 vector B, then plus 3 over 7 vector C. So when you add that, you will obtain uh, 10 over 14 vector A minus, because minus 7B minus 3B is minus 10 vector B over 14, then plus 3 over 7 vector C. But we know 2 can go there, 5, 2 can go there, 7, 2 can go there, 5, 2 can go there, 7. Therefore, our final answer becomes 5 over 7 vector A minus 5 over 7 vector B, plus 3 over 7 vector C. So that's the answer. I want to take this opportunity to thank you so dear for your support. Kindly keep watching, keep subscribing. And I want to uh, thank uh, Gradis for asking this kind of a question. I know many, many of our learners are going to learn a lot from this question. If you have a question, go down there to our comments. Ask your question there on the comments. We are going to answer you accordingly. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.